experience uh, in Kansas, Coach Mangino, we know him pretty well from this area, from this area being from Newcastle. Let's talk about um, this opportunity for you. I mean, you've been at the top, now you're coming down to FCS uh, football. Um, let's talk about what experience you bring here. Well, I guess the first thing I'd say is I don't look at it as coming down. You know, the job is a job. You know, at different levels you have, you have different resources for sure. However, at the end of the day, you want to put a, you want to put a man out the door. And uh, be it Youngstown State, Ohio State, wherever it is, that's the goal at the end of the day. And uh, uh, I look forward to having the opportunity to do that here in Youngstown. I think we have good kids. Uh, we have kids that want to win. We have kids that want to graduate and that want to, uh, and, and that'll be contributors to this university in the future. And I want to make the most we can out of them. With your title of assistant head coach, how much will you be helping Coach Wolf? Because this is the first time he's been a head coach. It's going to be, I mean, he's going to be relying on you guys a lot. Just talk about working with him and your relationship with him. Well, definitely, our relationship is what brought me here. It's what attracted me to this job. Uh, have a great deal of respect for Eric. I have a lot of respect for what he brings to the game, and uh, I, I had the opportunity to compete against him every day at, uh, at Illinois, and I knew that if my kids did not come prepared to compete, we were going to get our butts kicked, period. And uh, so you know, to, have, to see him rise to the, to the position of head coach and have an opportunity to contribute to his uh, continued success, I look forward to it. Tom, how has this staff gelled? I mean, we've seen everything on paper. We haven't seen, I mean, this is the first time that we've been able to meet you guys and so on and so forth. But how has this staff gelled so far in the short time that you guys have been together? It's probably as close a staff as there is in the country right now. Uh, I think Eric took his time in choosing the people that he wanted to bring in. And uh, he, he brought us in with the, with the mindset that not only football, he wanted people that were going to be committed to developing uh, the young men in our program and he wanted people that uh, you know, he wanted to hang out with even you know, away from football, guys that could go on vacation together and I think he did a good job of choosing the guys that he put together. Uh, we're very close. What, what did you know about Youngstown State before arriving here? Did you, did you know anything about the program or anything? Well, I knew about Youngstown a little bit. Uh, I knew, I definitely knew of the tradition at Youngstown State. Uh, you're talking about a tradition that uh, Actually, my first coaching job was at Western Kentucky in 97. We went to the quarterfinals, and you guys won it that year. Uh, and so I was quite familiar with the caliber of players that you guys had and, and, and the tradition up here. And, but to come here and see it firsthand, it really is impressive. I mean, like you said, I've been at some BCS programs, but I get asked more about what kind of team we're going to have here at Youngstown by people out in the community than I, than I have at a lot of other places. So... Uh, it definitely is a buzz about the program right now. It definitely is an interest in the program throughout this community. And uh, like I said, it's our job to provide you with the winner that you're looking for. When you when you went against Eric, when you guys were, were assistants at, at Illinois, did you know one day he would be a head coach? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Uh, I watched how his guys played. I watched how they improved. I watched how he could take a guy and... Uh, you know, develop them, and, and, and in a short period of time, you have a guy that you weren't sure that could play that you could count on. And uh, so I knew I knew at some point in time he would have this opportunity, and uh, I'm confident he'll make the most out of it. Tom, was this the right opportunity for you in your career to come here? I think so. That's why I did it. So <laughs> let's hope so. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, and I'm glad I've done it. I mean, I've had a lot of fun working with the guys here. I feel like we've got Great guys on both sides of the ball, and I'm learning a lot of football in our defensive room. You know, a little bit of time we've been able to spend in there between the 6 a.m. workouts and what have you, moving. Tom, what do you bring? Well, what I'll bring is uh, commitment to the young people that uh, that I coach um, and the young people that I come into contact with on your, on your campus. Uh, I'll bring... Uh, I don't want to brag, but I'll bring an expertise on uh, getting to the quarterback. I think I've had success at that in the past. Uh, and most importantly, I'll bring someone that's uh, loyal to this university and that wants to see it have success and wants to see the people here have success. Coach, you have some NFL experience. How much does that help you with the kids as far as credibility or maybe they come to you and ask you about something? I'm not sure. Uh, you know, my joke is, you know, you got a sideline view, you have an end zone view, and then you got a helmet view. I just got that third view. I got the helmet view. I've seen it from a different angle than some other people. I don't think it makes me a better coach or anything per se. However, it does, it, it, you know, there's a few things that I've learned along the way that maybe you can't read, you can't pick up in a book. That's it. Is it tough 
when you have a new staff, to everyone be on the same page, so to speak? I mean, you're going to be working with Rick and obviously some other people on the defensive side. Is, is that, or is that premature a little bit now? Well, I mean, we'll be on the same page because we have to be. Uh, you know, uh, I'm assistant head coach, but Rick calls the defense. What Rick wants to do is what we'll do, and we'll make it work.